Hello, welcome to my channel. I'm Amanda and today we are here with a what's in my pencil case video. You seem to like these so I thought I would do another one. I actually have three pencil cases. I have this one which I've had for quite some time now. I also have this one which I've also had for some time and I have this one which is the main one that I have my art supplies in. Unfortunately it's already covered in some pen as you can see but uh, this one's more for the stuff that I use in my bullet journal. This one has supplies in it that I've wanted to use but I ended up not using throughout the year so I took them out. It also has a bunch of pins. These ones here which are from Emily Harvey Art and I have these three which are from Myra Baylor and I also have this one which is from Amy Howard and this one which is Liz V Art and then this one is a scroller box one and then this is a badge from Drawing With Waffles. I think that I want to go through this one because it is the one that I use for most of my stuff. Now I can't exactly remember what's in here and I probably don't use it all but I thought I would show you anyway since you like it. So I'm just gonna go through and show you. Now something that I always keep in my pencil case are these Prismacolor Colerase pencils. They look like this. This is the orange one. I tend to have these because I like to draw in colours sometimes. Um, I don't have my favourite ones though because I've used them that much that they are now <laughs> completely down to nubbins but I have this grass green and orange one. These are quite hard to get in the UK so I just try and not use them as much to be honest. Um, I also have this Create a Colour Monolith 2B pencil. Um, I like to draw in graphite a lot and this is a really good chunky one and it's good for if I want to do quick gesture studies or something like that. Portraits, things like that. One of my new additions is this Faber-Castell 9000 and I have them in a variety of softnesses. This is the B. I also have a 2B here and I'm pretty sure there will be other ones that will come across soon. But these are really good for just graphite drawings. I also have this Stedler HB pencil which is also good for graphite drawings. Again, I don't use all of these pencils but I've accumulated them and just put them in my pencil case. This is just a plain one that my son got from school. Uh, he actually should have that one. And then I have these ones which are the Paper Mate. They're 1.3 millimetre and they're quite chunky and I like them because they're mechanical but they have quite a thick lead and they also have a little rubber on the end too. I usually keep all of my graphite pencils and like drawing pencils in this elastic band so that I don't lose them but <laughs> I end up losing them anyway. I just keep them out of it. I have this uh, Uniball Signal pen that I like to use to add some highlights to my drawings. And I also have this Kura Toga 0.5 Uni Ball or Uni Pen. And this one's cool because it's supposed to rotate. Yeah, revolving action keeps the lead sharp so it, as you draw it kind of rotates itself. I don't really see that because the, this side is definitely duller than the other side but um, I've had it for a while now. I think it came in a scroller box um, but it's just a mechanical pencil. It's really nice. Um, I also have this needed eraser when I want to lighten my drawings but not fully erase them. These are really good and handy to have in my pencil case when I just want to draw with pen. They are the Bic Round Stick Mediums. I have them in blue and black. I'm pretty sure you can get them in red and purple as well. Here's one of my other Colorace pencils in violet. I like that one as you can tell. Here's the Bic Round Stick Mediums. I also have this Derwent electric eraser. 
to help with getting really small details erased. I really love this. It's really, really handy. I have um, refills somewhere as well, but I don't use it as much as I used to. I have a lot of mechanical pencils in here. There's one that I really like that I lost. My friend Tor sent me it and I can't find it. It was the Derwent Precision. But this is the Faber-Castell 0.5 uh, K, uh, TK Fine 9515. They like to use really big numbers on these. But yeah, this one's really light and I don't like it too much. Um, but it is quite handy to have uh, if I want a really fine 0.5 point. I actually prefer to use my 0.9 Graph Gear pencil, which has a grip on it. And... Uh, this is really good for thicker drawings and I really like the weight of this and the feel of it. just feels nice in my hand. This is one of my favourite pens and it's nearly empty and I really need to get onto a pen shop to buy another one. This is the Pentel BKN77 Superb Tech. It's a very, very fine point. I don't even know how fine it is anymore. Hold on. But it is really fine and it's just like a ballpoint pen but it's fine and the ink in it is actually oil. I really really like this pen. It gives off a really nice line but as you can see it's almost empty and I'm really sad um, about it. This is just a random scrap bit of paper but it writes so fine and I like drawing with it. Um, I like outlining with it too because I don't really like fine liners but I like to outline some things sometimes and this is a really good thing to do that with. I also have this Graph Gear 1000, it's by Pentel, it's a 0.7 and it actually has um, purple lead in it by Pilot Eno, Color Eno, Pilot Color Eno, these are the leads, 0.7 violet in this one, really like it, adds some colour to your sketchbook. This is another <laughs> small bean, it's my colour race in scarlet red again these are really hard to find in the UK and if I I probably would just buy um, the crimson version for these because I do like prefer rose and crimson but again really hard to find so I just don't I haven't actually bought these in a long time I think it, the last time I bought these was like 2007 and I still have the amount that you see here I bought a pack of 24 I think in different colours. Next up I have this easy come easy go 2.mm uh, 2B pencil. It is yeah it's 2mm so it's it's quite thick again. Uh, I have refills for this. I think the refills are in this pencil case. Um, I just really like it. It was from Wish. It was really cheap and I like the thick lead. Again, I don't really need all these pencils in my pencil case but I just seem to have them anyway. And then I have this home and office rubber that's actually my kids that I got him for when he first started school but he ended up not needing supplies because they supply them at school. I have an exacto knife just in case I need to cut anything but the blade is gross it's got paint on it it's got glue on it it's just gross I need to replace the blade but I don't actually remember the make of this oh it's Fiskars so I maybe should find some replacement blades for that I'm pretty sure it came with replacement blades but I don't know where they are oh I still have red lead and no, the blue ones are gone. I have red lead. <laughs> I can't find any replacement blades for my exacto knife, so I'm going to need to get that. And then I have this Unipin Fine Line brush pen, and if I was to get any brush pen or prefer any type of fine liner, it would be by Unipin because they are really nice. This is sort of like a felt tip um, line. It's very nice. You can get really thin lines and really thick lines. Um, I don't really like drawing with this because it's so unpredictable but it's good to have just in case I feel like being a little bit more loose with my drawings. And then I have this Derwent 6B graphic pencil just in case I want to draw a lot thicker and darker lines. And then the last thing, nope, the second, third last thing I have is this normal 
eraser that's dirty. This is a Mono Zero uh, eraser and it's clickable so you can just click the eraser out like this. Um, I haven't used it much, it's quite flimsy so when you actually use it to um, erase it's just really flimsy and it doesn't really do what I want it to do but I got this in a scroller box and I thought that I would just have it just handy just in case I wanted to erase really small things but I think you can get the same erasings with this even though it's a lot thicker you just use the, the tip of this or the side of this and it will erase just the same. And then the last thing I have is this, although I don't know why, because I don't really paint from my pencil case, but I have it just in case I need it. It's just a, one of those water brushes that you can put water in here and use it to paint with. But yeah, that is literally everything that I have in this pencil case. Quickly, I'll just show you a couple of things that I used to hang around. In fact, you know what? What I like to do, especially at the last or the end of the year, is just really go through and see exactly what I use and what I don't. Um, I don't really need to keep all of this stuff in here. So I could just put it in my other pencil case. Um, I'm going to definitely keep one of each of these pens. The other two can go away. Um, I'm going to keep this pen and this graphite pencil in there until I finish the leads and then I'll move on to something else while I'm waiting for refills to come. Um, I don't think I really need all of these different, oh I didn't even talk about this, the clutch pencil which is a uh, Koenor Tyson Dior 5900. I don't know what kind of lead this takes but I think it can take anything between like a 1.5 to a 2.5 millimeter lead. Um, it doesn't have an eraser on the end or anything like that, but it does have a sharpener built into this, I think. So if you unscrew this, you can actually sharpen it with this. I don't know if I'll be able to focus this, but let's try. Nope, it wouldn't let me focus it, but basically it, it has like these little springs, sprogs, and you can, uh, get your pencil and and you can sharpen it in these little things it's madness madness I tell you look at this grossness but you can sharpen it so it's good that you're able to sharpen the lead and you just screw it back on there so it's like a built-in sharpener which is nice so yeah, I think I'm going to leave that out too. I'm going to keep this for the uh, leads. I'm also going to add back in these red leads because I would like to use them. They're 0 0.5 so I can put them in my uh, 0 0.5 pencils which would be this one or this one. This one's too light, I think. Actually... I'm trying to figure out what, what, which one feels better. This one's thicker. Yeah, I think I think I like this one better. Hmm, that one seems to be hard to remove. Oh, that one's easier. Okay, so if I put the red leads in here, I'll have another color to draw with. So yeah. There's 0 0.5 and there we go. Now this has a red lead so I'll keep this around and then I will just put this one away because we don't need so many different things. I'm obviously going to keep this in because I love that. I'll keep this in but I'll clean it. <laughs> I'm going to keep this uniball signal in there and I'll take this out because I don't really need it. I'll keep this Colorize pencil. I'll keep this in there. Actually, I'm going to put that aside because I might actually try and find that one and buy it. I'll keep my X-Acto knife. I'll remove that. I'll remove that. Keep this. Remove that. Okay. I think we're done. So I'll put that to the side next to my computer so that I know. This is my eraser. I actually prefer... Oh, 
this one, which is the Dust Free Faber Castell eraser. So keep that in there. There we go. This is this is what I'm keeping. So two books, a couple of mechanical pencils, and some other pencils. That seems like the better idea to me. And then I'll just put all of this stuff in this pencil case, which just has a couple of pro markers, some random pencils. Um, I really like this uh, mechanical pencil as well. It's Fiesta 0.7, um, but it was my only 0.7 pencil at the time. Mechanical pencil at the time. It's by Pentel. I really like it, but the erasers kind of like went really down, down really far. I don't think that they should provide erasers with these because they are so tempting to use and like I said I've used this one down to the bottom of it um, and then they're really hard to refill so you've got to risk your fingies to get it out and then you've got to risk losing it. I would rather put something else in this that might help it stop it but it's still far up like this maybe? No. That won't work. But then when you push it, it gets it gets pushed down. So yeah. I don't know. Anyway. <laughs> so yeah, I've just got a bunch of stuff in here that I don't really use that much anymore. And uh, I don't need to put the art in there anyway. I might go through this and actually put some of this stuff in my pots so that I can still use it but I don't need to carry it around in a bag and then obviously quickly I'll just show you that this is just full of pens, different pens that I like to use for my um, bullet journal so I think I'll keep you updated on how I feel about just having such a small selection and uh, that will be fun so thank you so much for watching. I hope that you enjoyed. Please remember to comment, like and subscribe if you haven't already. If you have, thank you so much for your support and I will see you next time. Bye.